first graders and welcome to Music Monday for Monday, April 6th. It's your buddy Mrs. Hill right here and I miss you so much. And hey, welcome to those friends who weren't able to see the other Music Mondays. I know that some of you went to school on Friday and you were able to get your iPads and so maybe you can see a little bit more of Mrs. Hill and your other special area teachers this week as we send you some videos. So today is Music Monday. I do my music videos on Mondays every day. And if you have not seen any of our Music Monday videos, you can go to my YouTube channel and that's posted right on my Seesaw post here today. You can go there and take a look at all the first grade ones and kind of catch up with us. Okay, so what we've been learning about is we've learned a new song which is called Drip Drop and it's about the month of April and how this is an old expression. April showers bring May flowers. And what that means is that in the month of April, it probably is gonna be raining a lot, but that will help those beautiful flowers in May to grow, okay? You are going to need to have something with you today to help out a little bit later. You are going to need an instrument. I know, I know, a lot of you right now are saying, Mrs. Hill, I don't have any instruments at my house. Okay, some of you might have an instrument. But if you do not have an instrument at your house, most of us don't have instruments just laying around, all you need to do is you're going to pause this video and go find something that you can use to make a musical sound. Let me show you what I chose for today. Um, I have an empty seltzer container because um, my family, some of them likes to drink seltzers. It's like a bubbly water. And I have a pen. And this is gonna be my instrument today. It's not too loud, it's not too quiet, plus I can make a lot of different sounds on it. I can tap it up here. That sounds a little different. I can tap it on the bottom. I can rub it. Okay, so why don't you pause my video right now, go find something that you can use on an, as an instrument today and then bring it back. Okay, now you won't need your instrument yet, so you're just gonna put that aside for now. First, I'll tell you about the song we've been learning about, and it goes like this. Drip, drop, drip, drop, will this raining ever stop? April showers bring May flowers, drip, Drop, drip, drop. Now today we're gonna add something onto that song. That's some crazy movements. And this will not be as easy as it looks in the beginning, okay? So there's a pattern to our movement. It's always gonna start with tapping our shoulders. And then the next movement will always be a clap. And then the next movement will always be a pat on your lap. Then we go backwards, back up to a clap, back up to a pat on your shoulders. Okay, now the order will always be this. It will always go shoulders, clap, lap, clap, shoulders, clap, lap, clap. Try it with me slowly, shoulders. It will always be the same pattern. Clap. Clap right in your head, too. Shoulders. Clap. Lap a little bit faster. And shoulders. Clap. Lap. Clap. And shoulders. Clap. Lap. And stop. Now it will always be that pattern, but sometimes when we do shoulders, it'll be two taps on shoulders. Sometimes it'll be two claps, but I'm always going to go from my shoulders to a clap, to a lap, to a clap, okay? Why don't you watch me and see if you can copy me? So I'll do the first sentence and then you do it back. Watch me first. Drip, drop, drip, drop. You try it. Good job. So you did one on each part. Now the second sentence goes like this. Watch, watch me first. Will this raining ever stop? Try it, you go. Nice job. 
job. Please don't panic if you're having trouble with this because I really made a tricky activity for you today. It's something, if you want to, that every day, if you want to get better at it, you can play this video again and try it again and see if by the end of this week you can be really, really good at it, okay? The third sentence, April showers bring May flowers. Watch me first, watch me, and then you do it when I'm done. April showers bring May flowers. Your turn, go. Oops, I'm sorry, I did my head instead of my shoulders. I'm sorry, start again. Mrs. Hill does it first. April showers bring May flowers. Your turn, go. You got it? Okay, because it matches the rhythm that we have in our song. The last sentence is the same as the first. Watch me. Trip, drop, trip, drop. Your turn, go. Trip. Drop, trip, drop. I am so sorry if I added my head into some of those. Originally, I was thinking I was going to use my head as the first movement, but I decided to stick with shoulders. So now what I'm going to do is try to do the whole drip, drop, drip, drop song using that pattern. Follow along with me. Make as many mistakes as you need to, my friends, because that is how we what? That is how we learn. That's right. Here we go. From the beginning with me if you want to try it. Here we go. Trip, drop, trip, drop. Will this raining ever stop? April showers bring me flowers. Trip, drop, trip, drop. You guys are great. Thank you for trying. And again, if you want to, you can rewind this video. You can try that again. Now, what we're going to do with those rhythms today is last time on my Music Monday, I actually gave this as a picture to everybody with our hearts as heartbeats. And I asked kids to see if they could write this rhythm down for me of the song, okay, with eighth notes and quarter notes and rests. And some people did send me some. Let me just fix this so you can see me better. Some people sent me their music rhythms. This isn't the flower ones. We'll talk about those in a minute. This is just the drip, drop, drip, drop song. So this is what kids told me. In the first sentence, we have one syllable. Drip, drop, drip, drop. Okay, that's what we have when we take our syllables. And if you want to catch up, go back to last week's video. You can write this down yourself if you want to. Then in our next sentence, I've got, will this, oh, that's two syllables. You know how to do this. We've done this together before. Will this raining, two syllables. If you wrote it down from last time, you can check yourself and see how you did. Will this raining, Ever, 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 two syllables. Stop. And the way that I can figure this out, my friends, is if you took a screenshot or if you just paused on this last week, each heartbeat has a word or words on it so that you can try to figure out what the syllables are for each beat, okay? In this third sentence, I've got April. You know it, eighth notes. Showers, mm-hmm, you know it. See, some of you have to say the number of syllables first, which is two, but some of you know that anytime you hear two sounds in that beat, you know it's our eighth notes, which is really pretty smart for first grade. April showers bring May, bring May, bring May. Yep, that's two sounds. Last week I showed you how to use your chin to check that. We've done that before too. Flowers, flowers. Mm -hmm. Boy, that sentence has all eighth notes. Look at that. One and two and three and four and. That's crazy. 
And then, I don't know if you remember, I said the first sentence and the last sentence are the same. Trip. One syllable. Trip. One syllable. Trip. Trip. And I'll tell you, there were some, definitely some first graders who sent me a picture of their rhythms that they made for this song, and it was really great. Now, we'll talk about the flowers in just a second. Now, time to get out your instrument. I think I lost my pen. Oh, no, here it is. Time to get out your instrument. What we're going to do is we're going to try to play and count this whole song. So this sentence will go one, two, three, four. And this sentence will go one and two. Yeah, the beginning of each sentence always starts with the number one. Okay, so let's try it. I'm going to play it on my um, can, okay, and you guys can try it on your instrument. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one, two, three. Four. I didn't get to play my can because I was pointing for you. Can I join in this time and you can read it on your own? Here we go. One, two, three. Stay with my speed, please. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. I bet you were super successful at that, but just in case, if that was tricky for you, rewind and do it again. That's why I have a video, so you can rewind and try it again. All right, so now let's talk about flowers. If you did not see my um, video from last week's Music Monday, it gave you a chance to take nine beautiful flowers and make a song out of four of them. And um, <clears throat> I did have some kids who gave me some. Um, Clara actually gave me two. Thank you, Clara. I love them very much. Um, Olivia gave me a beautiful one. Kaylin actually wrote all of the rhythms down. I know these might not be people from your class. This is like a lot of first graders from lots of classes who sent me ideas. Um, Cora did some music, um, her flora, flower rhythms, but she played them on her piano. Thank you, Cora, for that. Um, Lorik gave me a really great rhythm. Um, you know what? And Lorik and Clara also gave me pictures. Uh, so did Emily. She had a rhythm too and she used. And Clark wrote all of the flower rhythms down. So did Kaylin. So we had a lot of people who joined in. Let's start with the one that Emily gave me. Okay. She had... Oh, I might have to make these pictures bigger or bring you closer. Let's see. Here's all the rhythms that I was using. I had a hyacinth, which if you didn't see my video last week, you should check it out because hyacinth is something pretty special to um, my name. If you want to check out last week's video, it's on my YouTube channel. <clears throat> see if I can put all these up here for you to see. You don't need that one right now. Don't need the Easter lily, but it's over there. Oh, I know you can't see that one. Don't worry, I'll fix that. And I'm missing one. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> All right, if you take a look, I'm just going to move this a little bit closer to you guys. This is the rhythm that Emily gave me. Okay? And it says, Rose, Daisy, Tulip, Lavender. Will you please say that with me and try it on your instrument. Here we go. Rose, daisy, tulip, lavender. Yeah, you got it. When we get back to school, we're actually going to put these rhythms on instruments. So if you can practice them on your pretend instrument for now, that's going to help you a lot. Oh, I just, I just discovered a new way to use this instrument. That's cool. Rose, daisy, tulip, lavender. Hey, 
Get creative with your rhythms. Get creative with your instrument. How many different sounds can you make out of the instrument that you chose? Okay, let's do one more together. And then if you wanna give me one, let's do um, Olivia's. Let's see, Olivia also used a tulip, but her tulip was the first one. So let's see, Olivia had tulip, daisy, carnation, which I love carnations. You can get them in so many different colors. And she ended, it's interesting, so did Lorik, ended with Rose also in his. Wait, was it Lorik? Let me just take a look at my list. Yeah, Lorik ended with Rose in his too, which is just such a coincidence, I think. Okay, All right, my tape folded on itself. Technical difficulties, please stand by. All right, this is Olivia's rhythm. Get your instrument ready, see if you can speak it and play it. Here we go. Tulip, daisy, carnation, rose. Pretty cool, let's try it again. Tulip, daisy, carnation, rose. So if you want to for this week, you could try making your own rhythm out of these nine flowers. And I'll tell you what, let me show you all nine of them again. Or if you want to, you can go back to the Music Monday video from last week, which was March 30th. But I'll show you all of them. I've got Day Lily. Day Lily. Lavender. Hyacinth. Daffodil. Tulip. Daisy, carnation, rose, and here is Easter lily. Now, if you know how to do a screenshot, if not, you can pause. But here are the nine flowers that you can choose from, and if you'd like to make your own flower rhythm using four flowers in whatever order you want, you can send me a picture or you can send me a video, you can, um, you know, just write them down for me, whatever is your favorite, and then we'll put yours up here next time, okay? All right, I miss you guys. Hey, if you want to, stop into my lunch bunch. I sent a seesaw message. I have lunch bunch at noon every day, so stop in and say hi if you want to, and I'll see you on our next Music Monday. Bye, first graders.